Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to manually remove a Windows Server 2022 domain controller. For example, if you have a domain controller that either crashed or was uncleanly demoted but never removed from the Active Directory forest, in this scenario, the domain controller is gone for good but the remaining domain controllers are still attempting to replicate with the offline domain controller. Aside from the replication errors that will fill the event logs of the remaining functional domain controllers, the situation can cause authentication and DNS lookup failures for members of the domain. Since the original domain controller is gone, we will need to manually remove it from the Active Directory. During a normal demotion, an Active Directory domain controller must contact another DC to let it know that the demotion is taking place. This allows the demoted DC to be removed from their application topology so that its partners will no longer attempt to contact it for the replication. However, in some situations, a DC may no longer be able to contact another DC in the domain. If this condition cannot be resolved, a forced demotion can be performed to demote the affected DC without contacting another DC. Forced demotion should be considered as a last resort when there is no practical way to restore normal communication between the affected DC and its partners. There are two methods to manually remove an offline domain controller from the Active Directory. One is performing metadata cleanup using NTDS util utility. Performing metadata cleanup in Active Directory involves removing traces of domain controllers that were not properly demoted or have become inaccessible. This is little tricky as we have to use command line interface. Second is GUI method in which we have to use Active Directory users and computers to delete the offline domain controller. In this video, we will use second method to manually remove an offline domain controller from the Active Directory. Let me show you the lab which we are going to use in this video. We had two domain controllers for our Active Directory domain. The primary domain controller got crashed and now it is offline. We are not able to bring it back online. So before we add a new domain controller to our domain, we need to remove the old domain controller from our Active Directory domain. So in this video, we will manually remove our old Windows Server 2022 domain controller from our Active Directory domain. This is our second Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain. We have used the domain administrator's credentials to sign into this domain controller. In our example, all 5 FSMO roles are assigned to our primary domain controller WS2022-DC01, which is currently offline. Open Server Manager if it is not opened yet. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Go to the Domain Controllers OU. Right click the domain controller you want to remove and select delete. In our case, right click on WS2022-DC01 and then click on delete. It is asking us for the confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete the computer named WS2022-DC01? Click on yes. The next prompt warns that you should remove a domain controller using the remove rules and features wizard. Since this is not an option in our case, we will select delete this domain controller anyway. It is permanently offline and can no longer be removed using the removal wizard. Now click on delete. If the DC is a global catalog server, another dialog box will open. Confirm deletion and click on yes. If the DC you are deleting had one or more FSMO roles, this will transfer the role to your online domain controller. In our case, 
These roles are going to assign to WS2022 DC02. Click OK to transfer them to the selected DC, which is WS2022 DC02 in our case. The offline DC is removed successfully. Go back to PowerShell. Again, type command net dom query fsmo and press enter key. As we can see, now WS2022 DC02 holds all 5 FSMO roles. The last step would be remove the server from the Active Directory sites and services. Open the Active Directory sites and services. To do that, click on Tools and select Active Directory sites and services. Expand the site where the known functional domain controller was located. Right click on the known functional domain controller and choose delete. On confirmation window, click on yes to proceed with deletion. Select use delete subtree server control checkbox and click on yes to delete it. The old server has been deleted successfully from active directory sites and services. If the old domain controller also had a DNS role, then we also need to remove the server from the name servers tab in the DNS manager. Open the DNS manager on the active domain controller. Expand for lookup zones and right click on your domain DNS zone and select properties. Go to the name servers tab. Under the name servers tab, select the FQDN of the domain controller that was removed. In our case, it is WS2022-DC01. Select the FQDN, click Remove, and then click on Apply. Click on Start of Authority tab. Here we can see the primary server is WS2022-DC02. Click OK. We need to perform the same steps for msdcs.msftwebcast.com DNS zone. Expand underscore msdcs.msftwebcast.com, right click on it and select properties. Click on name service tab and remove the old FQDN entry. Click on apply and click on OK. As you can see, we don't have any alias CNAME entry for our WS2022-DC01 server. Let's check for SRV records as well on DC sites for site. TCP and we have only two SRV records for WS2022-DC02 domain controller. Let's check the same for our domain DNS zone as well. Okay, we have only entries for WS2022-DC02 domain controller. So we can confirm that SRV records are also updated. Let's check the reverse lookup zone as well. Okay, we don't have the reverse lookup zone, so let's create a one. Let me specify the network ID, which is going to be 172.1872. Click next, next and finish. And let's create a point record for this domain controller. Okay, so we can confirm that in our DNS server, we don't have any DNS records of our old domain controller. We have successfully manually removed our domain controller from our existing Active Directory domain. Remember, starting with Windows Server 2008, the metadata cleanup is done automatically with this option. Most of how to guides will tell you to open the command prompt and run the NDDS util to clean up the metadata. This is not needed if your server operating system is 2008 or above. Demoting a domain controller isn't that difficult anymore since Windows Server 2008 R2. A lot is done on background these days automatically like transferring the FSMO roles and cleaning up the metadata of old domain controller. That's all for this video on how to manually remove an offline domain controller from an existing Active Directory domain. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.